Oh, thank you. I am a bit sick, so if I die in the middle of the talk, just take me to the closest hospital. Okay, uh, we have 30 minutes. Um, I'm going to talk about, uh, first of all, how are you? Fine? Are you tired? No? Okay, perfect. So, let's continue. Uh, we are going to play today. So, basically, I'm going to talk about EC full stack deployments. We are going to talk about deployments, basically. So, my name is Alvaro Aguirre, as you heard. So, I work for the ALMA project. Do you know the ALMA observatory project? Okay, this is an uh, observatory located in Chile uh, and contains formed by 66 antennas. So this is our hardware. Unfortunately, I'm not going to talk about this today. But as you can now, we are very worried about our deployments, right? So uh, I'm also a co-founder of the Python Chile group in Chile, Python group in Chile. Uh, Mm, yeah, it's more fun than what you see in the, pi in the pictures. Okay, let's start. Uh, first of all, we need to talk about the ways to build software. Um, we have different ways to build software. So, if you see here, we have an example, a PHP example. This is a basic form that is submitted and stored in the database. Is this right or not? It depends, right? Uh, and probably it depends on the context, right? So we have a different way to build software using a pattern, right? And here we have a different way to build software also. And here we have a different way. This is the Java way to build software. Have you seen this? Have you used Java in the past? So this is the enterprise way to build software, right? It's very useful. So try to use a basic form with this. So okay, we need a lot of layers. Um, so I copied this from the Science Python Conference. Uh, I saw this in Twitter in some place uh, and it's important that the concept that we see here are very important because we used to say that we use Python because um, it's easy to read it's easy to test and it's easy to maintain right and what about our deployments on the other hand we have something that we call black box deployments. Black box de deployments are, uh, for example, when you have a button and you want to, okay, press the button and get all your infrastructure or get all your production environment ready to be, to be used. Uh, there are a lot of uh, commercial solutions that, that use this approach, right? For example, I don't know if VMware is part of this is a sponsor of the Python conference, but for example, you if you have used VMware or vCenter, you have something that we call black box deployment because you don't have the control of your deployments, right? So, but what about deployments? If we have patterns for software, we have patterns to build software we should have also patterns to build our applications. I mean, to, to create our deployments, right? So, we should try to do something to follow a pattern or a way to keep all our deployment under control. So, what we are going to see today uh, what we are going to see today is this approach. Uh, we want to install a pyramid application. 
uh, any, any of you have used Parallel in the past? Okay, just two people, okay. Uh, we want to use build out. Any of you have used build out? Okay, one person. Ansible? Well, okay, and Docker? Okay, more people. Right, so. So, <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, basically, what we are going to do today is the same thing that we did yesterday during the training. So, uh, this could be, it's going to be interesting. Basically, my mom told me that please don't do live coding. So, what happened if we all do a live coding today? What can be wrong? Do you, li do you like to do that? Okay, if you have your computer, please take your computer and we try to do something. If it works, okay, we work. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So, let's go to this um, web page, okay? Do you have a microphone, please? Because I want to. Okay, okay. Uh, what you will see there, okay, everybody has take, have, uh, is in this URL, right? Okay, please go to this URL and we'll do the following today. In that URL, you will find something like this, right? So we have 100 machines to connect to, right? What we want to do is uh, each person here has to connect to each machine here. So we are going to start from here, right? Uh, my machine is the number one, right? You are two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Can you continue for front to that? Okay. 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 Okay, faster, faster. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. 27, right? 28, okay, 29, 29, yes. Thirty-two, okay. Okay, perfect. Uh, uh, we will work a bit uh, under pressure, so we'll try to, to do something. Uh, Okay, what we want to do is just connect to one of this, connect to your machine. If you don't have a machine just, or a computer, just don't worry. You can see everything what we are going to do here. So, as has been explained here, what we want to do is a full deployment of our application using, first of all, Pyramid, build out, Ansible and Docker in different, different layers, right? So, I'm going to connect to my machine here, which, ah, okay, this is important. You see two, uh, two columns. The first column is to access to your machine, obviously, and the second co column is to see the application running, right? So, we are going to connect to the machine Ah, I forgot, I don't know if you see, if you saw this, but the password to each machine is one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Uh, we are connecting to um, Amazon Web Service machine, which has a lot of Docker containers inside it, right? So, I'm going to connect. Actually, I'm currently connecting to a Docker container, 
that has everything. You can do everything what you want, but please be careful. So because you have root access, so if you want, you can install things, but please don't do that. Please follow the training. Inside this, uh, inside the container, you have six labs. Uh, the purpose of this talk, in the same way that was the purpose of the training yesterday, is that you can get to your home a full, uh, a full uh, implementation, uh, a full, f a running course that you can test at home, basically, with all source code working up and running. So, if you check here, uh, I'm sorry, let me do something. Okay, I didn't delete this. Okay, uh, you can download, if you do docker pool agirre uh, slash ip2015, uh, you can download all these labs in your computer if you have already docker installed. If you don't understand about this command, we are see something later. And you can follow the slides at this URL. If you connect to that URL, you will see six labs, but we are going to do five today. We pretend to do five labs today. And in each lab, if you go down, you will see the details about what this lab is for, right? So, so uh, because we don't have a lot of time, actually we have just 15 minutes, is your responsibility to go to these labs if you want to follow, or if you are, or you can follow me here. Okay, we are going to connect to Lab one. Lab one, in lab one, we are going to, uh, it's important that you activate the virtual environment in each lab and, and deactivate the virtual environment once we finish, right? So I'm going to activate the virtual environment. If you haven't, do you know about virtual environment? What is, okay, virtual environment is a way to isolate your Python. So we're using this in order to prevent to install things in the, in the machine, right? So what we are going to do is basically we are going to create, okay, our, pi, uh, our pyramid application. We are going to run setup this to get all libraries or dependencies installed, right? And finally, we are going to run our pyramid application. This is a very basic pyramid application. You see that it's running in that port, but in order to see this application, you have to use the port that was here, right? The web port. So if I reload page, I see the pyramid application. So this is a basic installation. So what we want to do is this, right? We want to do now an installation using build out. Okay. One second. I lost some information, so. Okay. What is build out? Build out is a way to package all your packages, your libraries, or your Python libraries to create a project. Most of the times, you will use different software products to run your application. In the real world, probably you will have a lot of dependencies, or even in your company, different teams are will work in using different software. Python software, so build out is a way to install all these dependencies in, in an organized way. So we are going to deactivate this. 
activate, and we are going to lab two, and you will see there that we have a build out to install Pyramid and our application. If we run build out, we don't need a virtual env environment here because build out works as a virtual environment. Uh, okay, we have to run this command. This O parameter is to run this command in offline mode. So uh, it's not going to internet to get all the packages. And if we, oh sorry, if we do the following, well, if we do this following, we should see now our application running, but now installed using build out, right? Okay, if you don't believe me. Okay, it is running using build out. Okay, if we go to lab three, Now we have a different build out. You can see this in the slides. Now, the application is downloaded from GitHub. If you go to that URL, you will see uh, the, the application is under my GitHub, GitHub account, right? So, uh, this is basically the same thing. So we have to, to do this. Um, blah, blah, blah. And we are going to, you will see that the application is not running. Okay. And we see our application running. Okay. Perfect. So, now you can see in the slides that we are using, we want to use Ansible. What is Ansible? Basically, Ansible is a way, it's a tool to install, to deploy our, our products in different hosts, right? So we have this configuration. The idea is that from a client machine, we can install using a specific configuration files or a specific Ansible project. We can install the same machine, I'm sorry, the same application in different hosts or different machines, right? So, under the lab four folder, you see three folders. One is the Ansible, the other one is the app folder where our application will be installed. And finally, we have uh, the virtual environment that we need to activate, right? So we are going to activate, uh, I'm sorry, we are going to activate this environment and if we go to here, we have different files that Ansible use to deploy our application. We have uh, variable files when we store different global variables. Um, we have a host file. With this trick, we are able to install our application locally. But if you see on the top, we can have different servers or different machines where our application will be installed uh, in parallel if we need. So, if we go to the task folder under the roles, okay, maybe I forgot to say something. We have this, uh, this is the main file to run Ansible, it's called play, where we call different roles. Each role represents, in this case, uh, an application. So in this case, our My App application, All right? So we have roles, we have My App. Something that I really like uh, about Docker, I'm sorry, uh, Ansible, is that you can have all instructions like a book. So you are able to read all instructions that you need to install your applications. This is a very basic application, but uh, Ansible configuration files can be more complex than this. So in this case, we are doing, okay, we are copying our build up files, we are copying uh, 
uh, our versions file, which is used by build out, uh, we are copying our bootstrap build out. We run bootstrap, which is uh, the base to, to run our build out, um, our application using build out. And finally, we run build out, right? And we create a notification to uh, start our application. So uh, if we go to roles, my app, task, I'm oh, sorry, handle, we'll see uh, this uh, sort of event, which is called or is notified when we run build out, when we run Ansible. So we are going to execute this. We're going to execute. Let me check if our application is not running. One minute. OK. Uh, there is running. So one minute. OK. So finally, you should see your application. So oh. And using Docker, we're going to deactivate this. And we are going to lab five, where uh, activate our environment. And you see that we have Docker running. We don't have any Docker container. Unfortunately, we can't explain every, all Docker comes, but you can find everything in the slides. Uh, we have different Docker images, but because most of you know about Docker, you see that we have our application running. So if you go to the slides, uh, we have a lot of explanation. You can run this, and you will see. First of all, we need to uh, stop. OK. If you run this Docker run, you should see our application running, but now using Docker. So I think we are ready. Um, but basically, the idea that you can get from this is that we need to install our applications, or we need a concept, a basic basic concept to install our applications. Uh, it's not just uh, use the best tools, but we need to understand, or we need to know how to recover, for example, our application if, for example, our Docker containers are not working, or if a build-out is not able to connect to the PyPy uh, repositories or something like that. So, OK, this was a talk. We was, it was very fast. You can download everything what you need to run this example with more columns uh, from your home or your offices and get your, the slides from here. And if you have questions, you can contact me from there, so thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you, Alvaro. Uh, I finished.